Welcome and to the third lecture. We are beginning with Philum infusoria, or its synonym is ciliata, ciliated single-celled animals. The Paramecium caudatum uh, is a representative of infusorias, the species which I uh, gave as an example, prey of the amoeba. The ciliates are a group of protozoans characterized by the presence of hair-like organelles called cilia, which are identical in structure to eukaryotic flagella, but are in general shorter and present in much larger numbers with a different undulating pattern than flagella. Cilia occur in all members of the group, although the peculiar uh, structure only have them for part of their life cycle and are variously used in swimming, crawling, attachment, feeding, and sensation. Ciliates are an important group of protists, common almost anywhere there is water, in lakes, ponds, oceans, rivers, and soils. About 4,500 unique free-living species have been described, and the potential number of extant species is estimated about something between 27,000 and 40,000. A great diversity of species, not only as numbers, but as their appearance. Here you can see, uh, for example, the uh, position of the cilia. Some, uh, no, for example, like uh, the paramecium, have cilia all over their uh, single-celled body. Some have cilia only around their mouth parts. Paramecium caudatum. This is a scheme of uh, the interior structure of the paramecium caudatum. What is important to know about the paramecium caudatum? It has constant cell shape. Also, what is different from the other? Uh, single-celled organisms we mentioned in previous lectures. It has a cell mouth. You can see the cell mouth from which the animal is feeding. It is fixed in a particular place of the cell. From this area, the food particles enter and the animal is feeding. Also, it is uh, digesting through food vacuoles and excreting bile contract vacuoles. For the paramecium, it is important to know that they have something very similar to our sexual reproduction. It is called conjugation. Conjugation. This process is uh, when uh, is going when two. Uh, individuals approach each other, connect each other, and simply change some genetic material. It is called conjugation, a primitive way of sexual reproduction. The things which I said in previous slide, the cell of the paramecium is uh, something like spindle shape, rounded at the front, tapering at the posterior to a blunt point. Paramecium caudatum feeds on bacteria and small eukaryotic cells and the food particles floating in water. Here you can see how the paramecium is moving by, by its cilia, how it's uh, swimming in water. Other representative of the infusorias, the species from the genus Stentor, Stentor species. It has a relatively sedentary life. Sedentary because uh, by its uh, end it is attached to a hard substrate. It could be uh, some kind of bottom substrate, is gravel, rocks, or submerged plants. And with its other end of the cell, which is called the cell mouth, similar to this in paramecium, 
but something like tube like structure it is surrounded by cilia so in this uh, species the cilia are not used for uh, swimming in water but they are used for feeding uh, they are moving specific way and making specific water flow which helps the uh, food particles to go inside inside the, the mouth of the cell so by its movement the cilia making specific water flow inside the cell mouth and the animal is uh, staying attached and feeding passively by the help of, of this cilia movement of course it can move for short distances also detached from the heart substrate and crawling for short distances What is specific also uh, for these creatures, they reproduce asexually and conjugation is not observed uh, in this group. You, here you can see the movement of the cilia and how the animal is feeding. The genus Vorticella, they are similar uh, in appearance to the stentor, but uh, they are a little bit more complex especially the mouth part and the shape of the cell which is bell like again with their stalk they are uh, also attached to the heart substrate in water and when they are disturbed they have a contractile axis which helps something like the muscles we have helps the animal to contract its stalk and avoid uh, the irritator uh, about the cell uh, mouth, uh, it is uh, a little bit comp more complex than this one in centaurs. It has a disc, groove, vestibule, and surrounded, of course, by a lot of cilia. Also, also is specific, it has uh, one big nucleus called macronucleus and one small one, micronucleus. This is a light microscopic picture of uh, vorticellas and these uh, ones in the middle are disturbed and you can see how the stalk is uh, contracted. What is uh, again important uh, about these creatures, uh, both the stentors and vorticellas mainly found in fresh waters. In they like uh, mostly um, standing waters like lakes, swamps, and uh, slow flowing rivers, of course. The contractile structures are uh, consisted by so called meo names, these muscle like structures. <laughs> 